Hello, and thank you for tuning into our webinar. This webinar is designed to give students a general overview of the resources available both online and on campus here at Bloomsburg University. So just to orient you, this is our university's homepage. You can find it by going to www.bloomu.edu. I would like to draw your attention here. We have several tabs running horizontally across the top as well as vertically on the left hand side with an application button. So if you haven't actually applied and you're trying to decide if Bloomsburg is the place for you, check out our videos, learn more about what Bloomsburg has to offer you as a student, and then when you're ready, go ahead and click this application tab and it will take you directly to our online application. Very easy process. But for those of you who are currently attending Bloomsburg or have already been accepted, congratulations and let's get started. So up here in the right hand corner you have the A to Z index. Clicking on it will take you to a great search tool. If you know the name of the college you're looking for, like the College of Education or Science and Technology, a specific program such as nursing or business, um, what else could you search for? You could search for a different academic building, so Centennial or Care Union, all those things you could find it here, as well as other resources. It's a fairly long and comprehensive list if you look through, you'll notice that it's repetitive in nature. For example, if you're looking for the library, you can search under L. You'll also find the library under A for Andrus, the name of the building. It's designed that way just to be more user-friendly, help you guys find information faster. So this is a great resource to use. You can also search in the search bar here pop up with kind of a Google search to help you find information. At any time if you want to get back to the Bloomsburg University homepage just click on the logo up here and we're back to where we started. Quickly there are tabs across the top and briefly here for the academics tab if you want to learn more about the various programs, undergrad versus graduate, general education, academic support, the registrar's office, and testing programs, all that information, these are all great links that will take you directly to where you need to go. If you want to learn more about the different colleges within Bloomsburg University, their web pages are here. This is a great resource if you're trying to pick a major, apply for a major, and or once you've been accepted into that program, how to proceed and kind of get an overview and stay up to date what's happening. So for example, if you're in the College of Liberal Arts, or you want to be, this you can click and it'll take you to their homepage. Now, the layout for each of the college's home pages are exactly the same. So if you wanted to go to business, you could click and it's the same layout. So for time, I'm not going to go through each of them. But I do want to point out that on the left-hand side here, there are different links that are specific to that individual college for resources and upcoming events. There's always an application button that will direct link you directly to the online application to apply. It will give you details how to do that, when you can do that, etc. The newsletter is below it. The center is going to give you a general overview. And the liberal arts is kind of unique in that it lists all of its programs of study and they are hyperlinked. So if you want to be a music major, you can learn about the different or minor you can learn about the different ensembles, events, faculty, all great resources here. And then finally on the left hand side of all the different college pages 
you have points of contact and the main office to find the secretaries and the dean. So for the College of Liberal Arts, it just happens to be in Centennial. Okay, so that's a little bit more about the academics tab. Admissions, more focused for individuals who are looking to apply to Bloomsburg. But once, if you're a new student here, you can check your application status, um, learn more about financial aid and how much it's going to cost to attend the university. You can meet your counselor, find information about orientationers here. And again, you'll notice that there's an option to apply if you have not already done so. Supporting Bloomsburg generally is just ways to give back, share your story. News, this will give you the most up-to-date social calendar can be found here an event calendar speaker series for lectures and they're broken down into subcategories depending on what you're looking for so you can read through kind of like an online newspaper student life is great tab it's going to show you well in the center here it'll break down and explain what you can find in the various tabs here on your left as well as another link to the master calendar and then finally alumni self-explanatory for the athletics page this will take you to find the schedules for each of our different teams here at Bloomsburg you can buy tickets and learn more about athletics here at Bloomsburg. I want to point out if you're a prospective student and you want to say run track or you play lacrosse there's information linked here for you or um, you can also find intramurals if you're not wanting to be that competitive but you still want to stay active all great resources available here on our Bloomsburg University homepage. Very active in social media too, so you can get updates about the latest score and how our football team's doing or the basketball team. Pretty awesome. So to go back to the Bloomsburg University homepage, last thing I want to go over is the current students tab, which I think is an excellent resource. Pretty much anything you need to find is available directly on this page. So notice your email, your Bolt account, Bloomsburg Online Learning Technology, ISIS, so if you need to schedule classes or pay tuition, etc., can be done by clicking on those links once you log in. You can find information about the library, your Bloomsburg ID at the Card Center, scheduling, graduation, housing, residence life. So it's all available here as well as down the center. There's a more comprehensive list and it's broken down. You can see that I've clicked through making these videos. We do have separate videos for campus dining, for health and wellness resources for military students and veterans and other videos. For more specific information I really do encourage you to watch those videos. They're very helpful and hopefully you'll be able to find information easier after viewing them. This video is just a general overview. So as you can see lots of resources available on this page as well as how to find help and technology support and then different academic resources are listed here. A couple things I want to draw your attention to. The hours it's open 
and bus schedule, I think, are two important resources. A list of when everything's open or closed. Especially if you live on campus and you need to figure out when and where you can eat at certain, certain times, especially on the weekend. Same with the computer labs. Where can you go if the library is too crowded or you can't find a computer? Maybe you're in between classes and you only have 5-10 minutes. So that's a great resource. The shuttle bus schedule is here. You can see that there's a campus loop. So that goes from the main campus to upper campus with the apartments and sports stadiums. Inf more information. If you live downtown, the hours that it runs. Different Honeysuckle, 500 Club, Greystone Apartments. The bus for that. Again, in red, where the bus stop is located and then the hours that it runs, how often. In addition to Walmart, which we do have a shuttle that goes there three times a week. So just so you're not waiting in the rain or hustling to get somewhere and then it's closed. Two good resources to see. The buildings and abbreviations you can find with the campus map. Again, if you need technology help, it's there. And it is a long list of resources. So hopefully I know that was kind of fast and very general, but hopefully it gave you a overview of how and where to find things here at Bloomsburg University. Again, for more information, I do encourage you to check out our other videos related to on-campus housing, off-campus housing, dining options, health and wellness resources, and then if you are a military personnel or recent veteran, you can click to learn more about GI Bill and benefits and the different resources available on campus specific to veterans and military students. So that concludes this webinar. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you. Best of luck with your studies here at Bloomsburg University and have a wonderful day.